Good morning, everyone. Today uh, we will talk about Dr. Khanda will tell us about radiological approach to non-accidental injury. Good morning. Uh, in non-accidental injury, we have different name of non-accidental injury like better child syndrome, shaking infant syndrome, uh, stress infant uh, related infant abuse, non-accidental trauma are all terms to describe the complex of a non-accidental injury in infant and young children as a result of abuse. Uh, studies show that 10% of children under 5 years of old who are brought to the emergency room will uh, with early accident have actually suffered non-accidental trauma uh, since many, as many as 65% of all abuse cases are initially seen in emergency room we should be aware about uh, dealing with uh, such cases Specificity of the skeletal trauma in abuse, we have a uh, high specificity, moderate and low. Uh, any metaphysial lesion, posterior rib, scapular, spinous process, and sternal, they are highly specific for the non-accidental injury. We have a uh, second uh, moderate specificity, multiple fractures, especially if they are bilateral, and fracture of different age, uh, epiphyseal separation, vertebral body fracture or subluxation, digital fracture or complex skull fracture. Low specificity, we have clavicular, long bone, and uh, linear skull fracture. Uh, those low specificity, they are also more common, uh, يعني more uh, common in uh, accidental injuries also. That's why it is uh, low specificity for uh, non- Can we see both? Uh, both. Uh, accidental and non-accidental. Uh, but the uh, most common are metaphysial uh, fractures. These are the most important ones, the high specificity, because when you see them, at least you should be uh, on this uh, notified authority. Yes. Here. Uh, dating of the fracture, it's important for non-accidental injury because we have a uh, multiple fracture of different ages. Uh, we, resolution of the soft tissue swelling occur uh, from 10, uh, 4 to 10 days. New periosteal bone uh, occur 10 uh, to 14 days, about two weeks. Loss of definition of fracture line, uh, 14 to 21 days. Presence of soft callus, uh, two to three weeks and presence of heart callus 21 to 42 days, remodeling of bone one year. Uh, radiological survey in suspected abuse, uh, those are uh, radiological uh, survey in cases that we are uh, suspecting of abuse. Most common uh, child abuse present with uh, multiple bruises and uh, swelling uh, hematoma. When we suspect, we uh, send for chest, AP and lateral skull, also lateral, upper arm, Forearm, hands, uh, pelvis, upper leg, lower leg, ankle, uh, feet. In children less than 12 months, also lateral thoracolumbar spine and head CT indicated. Uh, diagnosis of non-accidental injury. Injury inconsistent with history or evidence of poor caretaking. We will uh, should do all physical examination. If uh, suspecting multiple injury as uh, various age of healing or bareness bruises, uh, children less than two years with any first, evidence of first, abuse. First of all, the first uh, part, okay. you, when you are taking history from the patient, for example, from, from the parents, let's say, yes. if they said he falls on his head and you see fractures multiple of the fractures. hands, mm -hmm. then there is history is inconsistent. There's something mm -hmm. wrong, okay? okay. Called foul smell. Uh, then you do x-ray, you see fractures of different ages. Yes. Some are healed, some are new, some are healing, okay? You see bruises, burns, yani that indicates that, again, we are clinical radiologists, not yes. photographers. We need history, we need examination, we can use, makes a big difference to us. If you see the patient, you ask him for history and you look for signs and symptoms. Yes. Also, the physiology of the child is different. Yani, yes. uh, minor trauma not, doesn't cause uh, yani, uh, injury yep. or fracture. It should be motor accident or car accident or fall from a very yep. high uh, situation. Yep. Uh, 
uh, child less than two years with any evidence of abuse or child less than five years with a uh, suspicious fracture, uh, we do skeletal survey. Uh, also, suspicious fracture in a child unable to communicate. A head CT is indicated in all children with suspected intracranial injury. Also, uh, despite of the radiological evaluation, uh, lab study are also important because we have uh, sometimes differential diagnosis, uh, like uh, hematological problems. They cause uh, multiple hematomas or. Uh, uh, the role of radi radiologists, we should be aware of uh, child abuse, detection of occult non-accidental injury, and the uh, discrepancy between history and severity of the fracture, fracture mechanism, age of the fracture, those are all in suspicious in a child. Be able to document a child abuse. Corner fracture, corner fracture regarded as pathognomonic for uh, child abuse, we have small pieces, uh, small piece uh, avals due to shearing falls on the fragi fragile bone growth plate. It is seen as the typical corner fracture. We have uh, a small uh, piece of bone uh, that uh, fractures. This fracture uh, often subtle, and that's why a skeletal survey in child is uh, indicated because most of the fracture in the child are subtle and didn't appear uh, at the beginning. Uh, this happens when, when they hold the child by example elbow, mm -hmm. when the parent hold the child from the elbow, so hard the corner of the bone gets fractured. Yes. That's why it's very specific for child. Specific abuse. one. Also we have a uh, back handle fracture. Uh, it's also like uh, the uh, corner fractures, but the, the avulsed bone is uh, larger. Um, we see in, uh, in this example uh, there is a fracture uh, of the upper tibia by this diagram and by x-ray. Uh, the same as corner, but uh, the face of bone is larger. Uh, the other one. Mm -hmm. Where is the fracture the, on the x-ray? Where is the fracture part? Upper of the tibia. So it is just uh, the faces separation? Separation, yes. Mm. Could be uh, Salter Salter uh, rib fractures are very common and highly specific for abuse. Uh, this fracture is usually not evident on radiograph early. Uh, we see this fracture in the healing stage uh, when the callus is formed, as in this example. Uh, we have multiple uh, rib fractures in healing stage and callus formation. Is it mainly posterior? Posterior. Exactly, especially the posterior one. Posterior, this is the most yes. specific for child abuse. Yes. Because what happens when he gets and when the parent get, gets angry? They just hit him on the back, mm -hmm. like a box, okay? And so the fracture will not happen anterior or lateral, it will be posterior. Yes. While the accidental fracture usually occurs lateral. Or anterior. Or anterior, exactly. Also, uh, this is an example of a child with multiple rib fractures. Also. Also. <coughs> uh, skull fractures are common child abuse injury, but they are also common in accidental trauma. Uh, pattern that we suspect the uh, accidental uh, non-accidental injury, uh, we have multiple uh, eggshell fracture or occipital impression, a fracture crossing crossing the suture line. The, those uh, suspicious of non-accidental injury, uh, we have uh, multiple uh, skull fractures in this example. Uh, the physical fracture are not specific. Also, they are very common in uh, accidental injury, uh, occur in any long bone. Uh, some state that 80% of death of children under two years of age result from non-accidental heart trauma. A baby neck muscle are very weak and it head is large and heavy in proportion to rest of the body. The infant brain is poorly myelinated and is surrounded by larger subarachnoid space than the brain in older children and adults. When a baby is shaken, the neck snaps back and front, much like in whiplash injury, uh, causing the brain to hit the front and back of the skull. This can damage the brain and cause it bruise, bleed, and swell. This is the... the yes. Uh, sub two. Shaken and... Yes. Imaging study of the head may show subdural or subarachnoid bleeding, <coughs> diffuse abdominal injury, associated cerebral edema, or older injuries such as subdural effusion. We may see different stages of uh, bleeding. Uh, 
uh, this ultrasound show uh, two different stage of uh, subdural uh, bleeding, acute and chronic. Also, this is an example of uh, subdural uh, bleeding, uh, hematoma bleeding, uh, seen in the posterior uh, box. And this is the MRI, show different stage of uh, subdural bleeding. Abdominal injury, the most common non-accidental abdominal injury, unlike the accidental. In accidental injury, we have splenic and renal injury more common. But in non-accidental injury, liver and pancreatic laceration are more common. Uh, this is a case of pancreatic laceration in non-accidental injury. Uh, pancreatic injury is uh, very uncommon in accidental injury. Mostly they are associated with uh, spleen. Spleen is first injured. And also, this is a case of uh, liver laceration in child with non-accidental injury. We have some differential diagnosis. Uh, accidental injury have uh, report in fact with motor vehicle or uh, we should have a high, yeah, uh, great trauma. See, on the other side, the Western countries, when you say non-accidental injury, it's not it's not easy. They will take the child from his parents. When you have, when you suggest non-accidental injury, you better be sure, because you will deprive a child from his parents and deprive a parent from their child. You, you might destroy a family if you are wrong. So you should be careful. With that. And also in RSNA, they said that uh, it must be reported by two radiologists in order to be more. Uh, it's more powerful yes one, to decide it is uh, abuse yeah. uh, coagulopathies uh, variety of coagulopathies is associated with intracranial hemorrhage in infant including hemophilia or hypoprothrombinemia caused by vitamin k deficiency uh, osteogenesis imperfecta also it is a connective tissue disease we have uh, multiple uh, skeletal finding in this patient this we have generalized osteopenia and worm and bone bowing angulation, uh, multiple liable fractures. multiple for fractures. Uh, yes, uh, we have, uh, but the other features that uh, su uh, are not suggesting an accidental injury like blue sclera, hearing impairment, and uh, hypermobility of the joint, bruising, and short stature. Uh, subdural hemorrhage is a rare complication of the disease. Uh, this is a case of osteogenesis imperfecta we see. Decrease, generalized decreased bone density and uh, bowing with angulation and uh, callus formation. Minkus disease uh, is a very uncommon inborn area of metabolism. In this patient, small metaphyseal hookus can be seen. Uh, we have uh, this hookus. It is uh, look like the corner fracture, uh, but it's not fracture, not displaced, uh, just like a small uh, hook. I think they have something with their hair something like that, this Minkis disease. I'm not sure, but there's something wrong with the hair of the patient. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice. So, <coughs> forecast constraint. Any questions, any comments, anything?